Today, we're going to be talking about the new Platinum line of beard oils from The Beard and Mac. Welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Beard and Mac, uh, one of my favorite companies, has great scents, great filling beard. Uh, they use a lot of different ingredients that you don't see, uh, see for some of the other beard companies. And I had a little bit of a chance to do some uh, testing behind the scenes. And Chris told me he was working on a new blend he wanted me to try out. So this is it. It had a big old number 20. This was the 20th uh, re uh, revision of uh, this oil. So uh, Chris does things very slowly, very deliberately. He's not coming out with stuff all the time. Really puts his time into it and creates a, a work of art, if you will. And if you'll notice, I only have like a couple drops left. Uh, even though my testing phase and my reporting back was over a long time ago, I've only ever finished one other beard oil in my life. This will be number two when I finish finish it because I, I really enjoy it. I use it uh, at night a lot instead of a, a beard butter, especially now in the summertime. I just put in a few drops of this and I am good to go. Uh, so this has got ostrich oil in it. And I just find that I really, my beard really likes the ostrich and the emu oils. It seems to really mimic my uh, my natural sebum oil, keeps everything hydrated and long lasting. So I really enjoy this. So it's ostrich, meadow foam seed, uh, black currant seed, baobab, black seed, shea, pomegranate, and vitamin E. So it's not just ostrich. It's got a lot of other good carrier oils in it as well. And there's... Uh, uh, three different oils you can get this in. So one's natural, which is unscented, which is what I have. Uh, so I like this so much that I was almost out and I was like, I really want to get another bottle of this. So I ordered one because uh, I don't I wanted to take it on vacation. So I'm going to be taking this on vacation when I go. So that's the natural. And then we've got two other scents. One is called the classic and the other one is called uh, vintage. And we'll talk about all those in just a second. So it goes for $22.99 which is uh, $3 more than the uh, Premier line. So this one's called the Platinum line. And if you like some of your other uh, Beard and Max scents, at least right now, you can't, you don't have the option of choosing the Ostrich blend or not. I, I believe they're all still just in the original uh, premium line. Uh, you can always save 15% with the code Banjo15, so make sure you take advantage of that. And let's talk about these two scents. So they're they're similar in a way, even though they weren't, I don't think they were planned out to be kind of similar. So the barbershop one uh, is called the Vintage, and uh, I'm not a huge fan on barbershops, especially when it comes to the talcum powder. This has got no talcum powder in it. This more mimics the, like the aftershave tonic, uh, old school style, which is uh, what I like. So this has got lime, bergamot, grapefruit, basil, oak moss, heliotrope, which is what gives it the aftershave tonic vibe to it. Uh, patchouli, cedarwood, leather, and musk. All right. So when you, uh, you first get that, you definitely get like the lime because that's you're going to get the citrus stuff first. So you get the lime and the grapefruit and then you start warming it up. And I got some warmed up over here. Yeah, you get more of the oak moss and the cedar and a little bit of leather comes in with that. And in between that, you'll get the um, uh, the heliotrope, which makes it more like an aftershave tonic kind of vibe. So I really enjoy that if that sounds good to you. Uh, both of these scents, the vintage and the classic, they are... Um, to me, they're, they're fresh scents, fresh and clean. Uh, they're not powdery. They're kind of outdoorsy in a way without them being too herby and without them being too woodsy. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, you kind of get a nice, fresh and clean vibe, a little bit of an outdoorsy spin on them. And the other one is called the Classic, and I think this one was based off of Chris's dad and uh, something about a canoe, I think. And you can check that out on the website and read the story on it, but it's lemon, lime, so in that way you still get that lime note to start with, but then it turns a little bit different. So uh, lemon, lime, pink pepper, lavender, oak moss, cedarwood, patchouli, amber, vanilla, and and tonka bean. So this one, uh, yes, yeah, so you get the lemon lime to start with, and then the other stuff starts opening up, and you get, uh, once again, some of that cedar wood, but you also get that amber and vanilla, so this has got just a little bit more smoothness than the vintage, which has got a little more bite to it uh, on that. So uh, once again, I really just enjoy these scents, and especially the feel in beard. That's why I picked up the one that doesn't even have any scent in it. But uh, let me know if you've tried that out, uh, if you tried out the new blend or not. That's called the Platinum Blend. 
also uh, around the same time he came out with the daily wash had a chance to um, test that behind the scenes too so that works really really well so you can check out the daily wash and the platinum line all right guys uh, also don't forget that in the premier line we do have the seasonal scent one of my favorite scents here that for summertime this is uh, a cherry icy scent it's called boardwalk mac it's cherry icy but then it finishes uh, just a little bit more a uh, little bit more sophisticated and manly and like cologne-ish just a little bit on the end so it's not just um, cherry in your face which it is kind of to start with blue raspberry cherry kind of stuff but then it finishes very smoothly works really well i really enjoy that one for summer and that one's a limited scent for sure so make sure you check those out use the code banjo 15 and as always guys i appreciate you watching we'll see you soon